Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be reviewing more games because I know that you guys really like these types of videos so I will continue to make them uh, to allow you guys to try and to get better at this game. So we're going to get started with somebody else's gameplay. If you guys want to send your gameplay, it has to be preferably Foot Champs related, right? And if you send me your Foot Champs gameplay, you need to send me your rank, you need to send me your tactics, you need to send me your instructions, and the way your team sets up in game. Some of these guys set it up right, way too quickly, they have a different language, so the way that I have to like look at it has to be a little bit differently. But if you guys can send me those things before you even send me the video, that would be awesome. So. We're gonna get started with this video. If, again, if you guys wanna link me your gameplay vids, the best way to do it is through Twitter because Twitter doesn't block links. So if you have like a full YouTube clip uh, for gameplay, like this guy did, he has Foot Champs Game Inception XX Review. He has a full 16 minute video. It's the best way to do it. So we're gonna get started. Right off the bat, this guy is using a 41212. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume here just a little bit. Okay, so we'll see how you set up in game. Doesn't even look like you actually change your formation. So uh, right off the bat, I don't know what formation you're using, so you need to show me those things. But from the looks of it, you're using a 41212, 4312. You have uh, Petite as your CDM. Don't know who these two are, but it's definitely a 41212. Right off the bat, let's see what you how you start from kickoff. So from kickoff, you're controlling these guys back here. The first guys you want to control are the uh, players around the circle area. So right in the middle, you have to control this guy right here or this guy right here. You're controlling a guy here, and I don't even think you're moving right now. Now you're controlling him. Good. Switching in that area, it doesn't really make much sense to do. You could just pass this ball downwards. Uh, it's it, it makes more sense to switch when their entire team rotates to the side that you're on, right? But... You didn't really need to switch there because it's it's going to be more inconsistent that way. So you're blocking the general CDM area. That's good. The thing is that I don't know how your team is set up right now because it looked like Petite was your CDM. So it'd be nice if you put your Petite in that situation. So your problem here is that you're holding the CDM too much right here. Like you're holding that general area, but you're holding it for too long. Notice how you just kept on staying on that one player. Your CDM is already in a good position once he gets over here. You got to use your center back because he's going to get an easy shot away. His chip actually almost works out. So right off the bat, the guy that you have to control from the corner has to be uh, the guy near post. So you're controlling um, Oria right now. You need to be controlling someone over here because all the players will be trying to exploit that near post corner. You get a little bit fortunate here that Boateng gets that for you here. So again, you at, at this point, you would have to switch to a guy near post on the corner. We're going to skip this a little bit here. See, this time you actually did it with Petit. That's a, good, that's a good call. Petit's a good player to have there. And that's exactly what you do. You go near post. Keep it running, keep it running, go upwards, there you go. Push his guy upwards, nice. Keep it going, keep it going. Now go back, yep. Pass it off to the middle. You're working this space beautifully, it's really good right now. Good drag back, do it one more time, yep. Do a shot across, nice. It's always good, I, I was mentioning this in the other video, it's always good to do that second skill move because once you open up yourself in this situation right here, the opposition player always thinks that you're going to shoot right away. Like once you do this skill move right here, they think you're going to shoot right away. But look at Del Piero. Del Piero is really strong on his left foot, right? If you do a nice little drag back cut inside, like right what he does right here, driven shot is the perfect thing to do here because sometimes you might get lucky here. The game could screw the guy over, but you did outplay his defender if it went through his legs, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing because he is controlling this guy whether, rather than play, uh, controlling this guy. So you did the right thing by doing the driven shot there. You just got really unfortunate that it doesn't end up uh, going through that player because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You defend really well there by switching to Boateng right away. 
Yeah, you're definitely using 4 one 2 and 2 for sure. So you're using Wayne Rooney as a right center mid, I'm assuming. That's a little bit too aggressive on the attack. Pass it back. Yeah, build up the play since you're a 4 one 2 and 2 You got really lucky right there. We literally right, went right through the guy too. Bring your center back back. Yeah. It's, it's funny because some of you guys, it's like as I say it, you guys hear it, you know, when you guys are doing it in the replays. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, since we've been doing so much high tier gameplay, I want gameplay from you guys that are around the gold two level. That's the best way for me to help you guys out uh, for all the specific because most of the guys that have been sending me their gameplay are players who are already pretty good at the game. So it'd be more people like in the gold two area that I would like to review. Because you can tell that he's using Eric Bai here, and Eric Bai is at a position. You don't want to keep him there. The midfield's already clogged up, so you want to bring that Eric Bai backwards so you don't occupy the space of a midfielder because then somebody else occupies his space. You can't you you can't have to keep using the CDM in this position right here. You have to switch to one of these guys right here, especially this guy. Watch the run being made and then switch to him when you need to. You're holding Conte too much over here. Because yeah, you see how he gets an easy shot off? Conte is a CDM that's aggressive at coming back in the CDM area, right? You should use Boateng in this situation right now. There's a time and place when you have to... Because the thing is, right, is that I understand why you're controlling the CDM only. Because that's the player that's the most important for you to block that general area. But... It's it's fifty fifty in that in that specific instance. Like you kind of had a chance to bring Conte back, so it wasn't a terrible idea. But most of the times in that situation, the guy can just take a really good long shot with someone like Hung Min Sun because Hung Min Sun's really good at long shots. Then he would just bang in a long shot um, without any pressure on him because he didn't really control the center back there. Again, you're using the guy near post, which is good. You're blocking the CDM area. That's good. See how he, see how the play is revolving around the middle. It's important. So this guy's already making a mistake by holding his center back in that area. You see how he keeps using his center back to attack against you? You know that he's vulnerable at the back. So build up the play over here because he's using that Ferdinand and, and try to exploit the sides. So right here, the perfect opportunity is once you see a, a Ferdinand pushing up towards you like this, once you give the ball off to Alaba in this situation, a 1-2 play would be perfect. So right here, 1-2 play, exploit that side. His... Fullback now has to act as a center back, and then you'll have the support of Conte and your striker right here to support you on the attack. You should pass it downwards again, do a 1 2 play. Now it's Ferdinand's back in position, but you can exploit the sides. Pass it backwards. Forcing it, forcing it in that situation wasn't terrible, but it's not ideal. Nice, do a long shot. Yep. Nice try. Once you get into this position right here, it's a long shot. You don't need to do any more passing. You got to do a long shot there. You got to risk it. See, that's the guy that you were in control in the center back. Just gets an easy shot off, even though your player is like kind of standing right there. So it really depends on the AI if it's going to block it for you or not. Get this a little bit here. You gotta, in this situation right here, you doing the skill move is, you just shouldn't have done the skill move. Because if you do an A pass to your striker right here and then a Y pass, this guy's through on goal. You doing the skill move is going to waste those two seconds now. Right here, you got to do a first time pass to the guy at the bottom, Y pass to this guy that's making the run in the middle. You just wasted that opportunity because this 100% is a goal. That's a goal right there. Even he realized that his defenders were out of position. Look, he tried to push back in that general area right now. See? This guy overcommits with his midfielders a lot. And you can tell that he actually presses B a lot too. Look at how he defends. See? He overcommits right there. Watch him overcommit again. Right here. That's how you exploit the sides. And look, he's using a narrow formation. So what's the best solution to this? Use a guy that actually overlaps on the wings. Put him on balance. Put him on always overlap. And... 
risk it a little bit. You know, if you're using freeform on your custom tactics on in the uh, middle part, like the chance creation, it would be very good to have your fullbacks overcommit here and create that extra space for you. Don't shoot it right away. Nice. Your Wayne Rooney reacted really poorly to that, but you did the right decision there. Can't do a turnaround shot in this instance right here. You do a pass. Pass in the middle. You gotta do that extra pass right there, man. Because right here, when you're using the 4 and 2 and 2, it's all about those little, small, little intricate passes you can do, right? Like, if you lay the ball off to here to Petit, Petit can lay it off to the guy here on the side and get a goal-scoring opportunity. This shot that you do right here is completely random, whether it goes in or not. Uh, the, the really good players like Ronaldo are going to hit those because they're really good at shooting in general. So even if they're doing a uh, turnaround shot, basically when you're facing this direction, but you turn around and shoot on the spot, right? Those are really inconsistent. Like the best way to take a proper shot is by taking that extra touch to shoot, right? Your passing needs to be like really quick right here. Once you lay the ball off right here, boom, 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 Y pass instantly downwards. Because look, you have to notice, man, when this guy's defending against you, he keeps over committing the tackles. Right? That's one. Watch this guy right here. Over commits, right? Once he over commits, that's an easy Y pass. Block, use the fullback in this instance because the fullback is the fastest one to block that general area. Because your Boateng would have gotten that regardless. You're exploring the sides, that's good. Build up the play in the middle, nice. One, two pass. No, that's too quick. That was, you did a Y pass there, which wasn't gonna work out. Beautiful. Yep, that's exactly what you do. When you're in this situation right here, it's not worth taking the extra touch. What you could have done is very situational, right? So once you did the skill move right here, what you could have done is you could have done a fake shot. So a fake shot is sliding your thumb from circle to X or B to A, right? And what that does is it'll fake shot stop the ball uh, facing the, the opposition's net. So if you did a fake shot, right? He would have been facing that general area and then Petit's making the run the inside and then you would have been able to take a nice shot with his left foot or lay off another pass to be able to have a more better scoring opportunity. In this situation right here, when the goalie has the ball, don't push out to the sides. Push with your midfielders to push him back into position. Like, you see how your petite's right there? Your petite's not a cam. You gotta put your petite back in position. Pass it downwards, nice. Run, run a little bit. No, I should've run downwards. Didn't have to switch there because everything's based off of the middle. You got the space to work with, use the space. Middle. That works too, that's actually really good. You got a little bit fortunate there with his uh, his defender like overcommitting there a little bit right there. That's a little that's kind of the game mechanics uh, screwing up a little bit. But you doing a first time pass here wasn't the I ideal thing to do. You should run in a little bit more because you have all that space to work with with Orier, and then you can commit that extra defender on you, right? So if you do that, you would commit this guy right here, or you would commit this guy right here, and then you would have a space right here to pass to this guy or this guy making the run inside. This guy would have been a very in a very good position. It's not always ideal to, to cross it um, in the 18-yard box in that situation. Push him all the way back. Yeah. Block this general area. There you go. Now switch to your CDM right now. There you go. Switch to the guy that sides. You got a good tackle in there. That was really good. Nope, that's forcing the play. The only problem that I noticed with your gameplay right now is you force the play too much, but defensively, you're doing okay. You're just forcing the attacking play too much. Like the driven passes, you're doing it way too much. You're exploring the sides, exploit the sides, exploit the side, go back. There you go. Now use that middle, downwards. Y pass? Nope. 
See, in this situation right here, this is what I'm talking about. Like when you have a 412 and two and you have your chance creation to uh, free form, you always got to look for that extra pass, man. That extra pass is what will help you score goals. Look at this situation right here, right? When you went backwards, he overcommits, right? That's how he defends. He overcommits with his, with his uh, midfield players, right? Overcommits with Thierry Henry, you have all this space to work with in the middle. Look at what happens when you pass the ball off to Petit here. Look at all this space down here that you have to work with. You just do a nice little wide pass off to Alaba. Alaba goes inside. You can do a driven finesse shot uh, or driven shot across goal with him. You, go, you always got to look for that extra pass, man. People always say like you make too many passes, but that extra pass is what helps you score those goals. You want the 100%, not the lucky. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful fake shot. You got really unfortunate there. That's because De Gea's leg save is really overpowered and Martial's shooting isn't that good. That was a really good uh, scoop turn, though. Stop in place, scoop turn it right away. Nice. That should have been a goal, 100%. Your Martial is just not good enough and De Gea is really overpowered. So even if you had a team of the year, Ronaldo, it would have depended on the game if, it, if you scored that or not. But you did do the right thing there with the driven shot. It's, that's the leg saves being like super overpowered. <laughs> Use your midfielders. Just push everybody back into position. You see how you're using Alaba right there? Don't You shouldn't push him to the middle. You have to push him back into position. Look at what happens here. You're using Alaba, and then you push back into the middle. Nope, you got to push back downwards. Because that's not his position. Look, you see how that all that, uh, that space you left? It's because you didn't push Alaba back into the left back position. Now he has a free shot, but his Del Piero does an awful touch. So you got very fortunate there. Always remember, putting the players where they belong, man. That's the most important thing in this game. RBY, should have done a way earlier. Over here, your player is making a fantastic run. Right here, that's an RBY right away. Right here, RBY. Look at that space he has. You got to do the RBY. You hold RB, and then you hold Y. It's a threaded through pass. So it'll push the ball really far. And because Martial's sprint speed is very good, he will catch up to it. But now it's too late, obviously. Exploit the sides, man. That's the formation that the guy is using. He's using the 4-1-2-2. Two, two. You're, 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 you're pushing it too much when you get into the middle on the final third. You're just pushing it too much. You're overcommitting on the attack all too much. That's the only thing I noticed. So defensively, it's more like putting the players back into position and not over committing where you think the guy's going to go with the player you're using. Like, remember, if you have a David Alaba and he's in the midfield, you got to put him in the left back position because that's the area that the attacker is going to exploit. Again, when you're playing kickoff, exploit the sides first. You see that you see that run that the player makes, the attacker? He always makes that run. So if the fullback is out of position, you can do an easy wide pass there. You're, you're over committing too much. The bat, a driven pass should never be made in that instance right here. You should never be doing a driven pass here. Like, look, you, the players are way too off of you right now. Even if you try to pass to this guy right here, like, it, it's, it's still hard because Rio Ferdinand is an aggressive type defender. So he'll get, he'll, he'll get to that. Del Piero, who doesn't even have interception stats, gets that ball. Put your CDM back into position. position. See what happens when you overcommit with Del Piero? Del Piero, I can tell, is your cam. Your CDM Petit is no longer in position. That's the area he's going to exploit right now. Passes it in the middle, see? Got to watch that general area, man. Now overcommit. You got to be patient on the defense. One, two pass, yep. Don't pass it right away. It's good that you took the touch there. The touch is very important. Because if you did a first time pass right here, he wouldn't have been through. Because you took that touch and you waited for his player to commit a little bit, that's when you have the space to work with. So you dribbling downwards is really good. Over here, if you were more calm, if you were more calm with Wayne Rooney, you could have done a body feint uh, diagonally downwards and then done a driven finesse shot. Or you could have made the extra Y pass to the player. Always, that's the thing that people never look at. They get really nervous when they're in front of the goal. They think, I just got to shoot right away. Always look 
for the extra pass because the extra pass is what gives you that 100% chance of scoring. Watch when you make this pass, right? You make that pass, this guy commits, your attacker starts attacking again, he goes forward, you do a wide pass to him, you could do an easy driven shot across goal. So you've missed out, you've missed out on two goal scoring opportunities now. Again, remember, that's your David Alaba. You got to push him back into position. You were defending with him like he was a CDM because that's the area he's going to exploit now. That's actually not a bad foul, so you can get your players back in position. Sometimes fouling the guy when he's on the attack is actually good because what you do is you stop the play. Like in real life, in professional football, when a player knows that he's going to be through on goal, sometimes getting the yellow card is worth it, you know? Pass it downwards. You're using too. You're using the side, the middle too much. There you go. Use that side. Yeah. Going backwards there. You don't have to go backwards here. You could put. You could push forward because the guy committed down, uh, backwards from you. Look at where he commits. He commits to that side. Look at that space you have to work with now because your player, your number eleven here, is making a very good run. Right? So you can use that space and your midfielders will push up and help you with the support. Because in this space right here, you exploit it. You use it. right? But when you notice that someone is still on you, that's when you do ball roll upwards, go backwards, and then reset the play. Because you want to reset the play where everyone's in the position on the attack when you're in this general area right here, not over here. So that your, your plan right, is to be able to attack in, here, in this area right here. So using that space would have helped your players push up a little bit more, and then that's when you build up the play again. That was a good switch to Aurier. Nice little pass in the middle. One, two pass. One, two pass. It wasn't a bad wide pass with your fullback. You see how you're using your you're utilizing your fullbacks now? Because that's that they give you that extra bit of space. Because look, your fullback will aggressively push back, right? He'll regress, he'll do it. Be careful with the passes of strikers. If you're going to do an A pass, the center back will come from behind and get it, especially if it's a prime Rio Ferdinand. This situation right here, switch to your petite. Your Conte is already in a good position. Because when you, like, when you get to this position, there's this mechanic when you're defending, right? When your Conte gets to this area right here, right there, you could switch off because your Conte is going to get the ball for you. Because when you switch off, your AI actually controls the ball better than if you were to get the ball. Y pass. There you go. Exploit that side. You committed too much to the middle when the guy was already in the middle. But you're pushing it back. There you go. Push it back again. Yeah. Push it back. Beautiful. And you get really unlucky here again. That's three goals you should already have. You're, mu you're a much better player than this guy. It's your goal scoring right now that's a little bit... That's failing you a little bit. That was a great pass, though, man. That was really good vision to see Wayne Rooney making that run. That was fantastic. What I would have done is right here, when you do that fake shot, I would have laid it off to Petit, right? But your pass was way better than what I was thinking. So that was a great pass by you. I think your second shot, when you aimed it directly at the De Gea, you were trying to aim to the left side, but you didn't think that the deflection was going to happen. Again, should have scored it, but De Gea is a god, so... That's good that you're, you're exploiting that general area and that you committed too much there. That was way too late. But the general idea was good, right? When you had the ball here, right? Look at, look at his left back. His left back is playing him on side. You do a first time wide pass to Alaba, he's, he's going to be through. But you do it too late. You notice it a little bit too late. But you did see it though. You did notice that his Alexander was putting him on side. Let me guess, you're going to switch to a wide formation. Okay, so now I can actually see your team. Conte is your CDM, Petit's your left center defensive mid, Rooney's your right center mid. Uh, not right, left center defensive mid, sorry, left center mid, right center mid. You're going to put in Promis. And you switch Dale Piero out. With Fermino. Okay, that actually makes sense. You have some sort of physical presence up there. Rooney has very good long shots. Wilson is is okay if you're going to be attacking with him. I don't know what your instructions are, though, so. 
I could tell that maybe your fullbacks are unbalanced. I'm not 100% sure because they do make runs sometimes, but they still seem a little bit conservative on the attack. That's good that you're using Petit because Conte's in his position. That's good that you use the left back there to block that general area. And I'll switch off the belt. Yep. You're pushing, at, you're pushing him in the position that you thought he was going to attack in. That was good, man. Tell your player to come close. Switch the play. Lay it off to your fullback. Switch the play. Yeah. You got to switch the play there, man. Because since the players are all committed upwards, you switch the play, you have more space to work with. You got to do a pass backwards there. You commit, like I said, man, your only problem with your gameplay on attack is you commit too much forward. You see how you keep going forward? You got to go back more. Not everything is about, like, pushing forward, you know? You have to be patient. That was a big mistake you made that right there. You never slide tackle in that position. Never. Never, dude. This guy, actually, if he was more calm, he would have scored this opportunity. This situation right here, if this guy was more calm, he would have scored this. He could have done he could have done at this position right here. He could have done like an angled body feint upwards and then like done a driven shot across or something. Because that the left foot shot will be would be more inconsistent. And if he's in the box like that, taking a regular shot there will be more inconsistent as well. It's better to do a driven shot. So far, you should already be beating this guy like 3-0. In my opinion, I don't think that opportunity that he had with Hullet was good enough. But you definitely had three different moments where you should have had uh, three goals for sure. Using Rooney there is not a bad situation. Now you're pushing Rooney way too high up. You got to put him back. He's the cam, man. You got you to gotta keep him in the cam position. Don't push players out of position like that. Put a switch to your petite. Switch to your petite. You overcommitted with your center back. Now you have that space that you left behind. Switch it again. First time pass. First time pass. Go upwards. First time pass backwards. Yeah, you got to do that first time pass backwards. Not first time. You dribble a little bit with Conte. The dribble was fine. We got to do a pass backwards there. If you think... So in this instance right here, right? Because uh, if you think that your, your ball is about to go out, you have to spam A. You have to spam the pass button to go backwards so he can reach for the ball before it goes out. So spam A, pass it backwards. The thing about the finishing in this game, guys, is that, like, I don't... Like, the thing that I explain to people all the time is that, like, I don't necessarily blame people too much for the finishing because the finishing is harder in this game because EA have themselves have made it harder. It takes less skill to finish properly because it's so inconsistent, right? Sometimes you'll take a driven shot in the same exact way as you did before, but you'll get different results. And that's down to, like, a, a lot of different factors, a lot of random factors that they have in the game with composure and finishing and shot power, right? So when you're finishing... In two opportunities, you definitely could have scored. But in one, it was debatable whether or not the game would have scored it for you or not. So it's very, very situational in those, uh, in those areas. So you pushed your, you pushed Orier here to the center back position. So you have to overcommit with your Del Piero, uh, not Del Piero, with your Petit. Because you already did that with Orier and you're exploring the right side. Because if this guy keeps pushing forward... Uh, with his midfielders or any players that he has at his central base, he will exploit the sides. Because now he's got a long shot here. Yeah. Run, use that space, use that space, keep using that space. Keep using that space, man. Because you got the, your, your strikers will make those runs on the sides for you. Pass it back. You committed a little bit too much right there, but it worked out for you. That was a good skill move. You gotta be, 
you do the right skill moves in, in good situations, but you just got to be a little bit more calm. By the way, is the the finishing opportunity that I'm talking about that, like, it depends on the game whether or not he scores it, is the Martial situation where he did the drag back twice. He did the drag back to get inside the box, and then he, dra he did the drag back cut inside to get inside the box. Perfect area. If the game decided his driven shot would have been better, then it could have gone to the back of the net. But the other two, he definitely could have scored for sure. You opened up the space really well, man. Like, your your skill moves, you just have to be more calm on the attack, right? You seem a little bit like... Uh, it's like uh, you got annoyed. And if it was me, I'd get annoyed too, man. Like, with all those attacking opportunities, I would get annoyed. But look, you've created a space right here, right? You could do an LTRT dribble, pass it to Wayne Rooney, cut inside, do a shot with his left foot, or LTRT, and then lay it off to the guy on the side, which is, which is Alaba, right? You have a lot of options there. So taking a shot there with, uh, with Roberto Firmino is going to be... Uh, more inconsistent for you. I really hope that you don't lose this game because you're definitely better than this guy for sure. Like, there's no, there's no disputing that. Like, this guy, this guy hasn't really done anything against you. But that's FIFA, right? There, you exploit the side, pass in the middle. Ooh, that was actually way better. That was actually way better. You've given me an idea, actually. Fake shot and then do the do the skill move, and he thinks you're gonna pass it backwards. Beautiful play, man. You and in your patience, that's good. You didn't do it right away. You were patient. So you did a fake shot. You did the heel to heel. You took the touch. You waited until your your striker pushed backwards, and then you made the pass to him. Well done, man. That was a nice goal. That was a really really nice goal, man. Even I was thinking of blocking that middle side, but the heel-to-heel -heel there was really, really good, dude. Control the guy in the middle right here, the right center mid. Make him block this general area right here. There you go. Using your CDM, Conte is not bad, but you're pushing him out of position far too much. Use your Conte, put him back in the middle. You're blocking that middle area, which is good. That's the that's the area he wants to exploit, man. Because when you're using a four one two and two, that's the only area they actually care about. You gotta switch to your center back quicker there. In that situation, you gotta switch to your center back. Once he gets into this position right here, where he makes this pass and he has this huge opening, using your CDM Conte is not bad here, right? And then when you switch to your left back, not bad. But right here, when you see Hullet, you gotta switch to Boateng right away. Because you see how you overcommit there with Alaba? If this guy was more patient on the ball in the attack, look how much space he has to work with right here. If he does a ball roll, he can actually shoot this opportunity more consistently. Let's see if he blocks the near post. Good. I wouldn't push Petit off the guy you're controlling, but if he if Petit's standing here, then putting him on the near post is good. But if Petit's standing here, you need to get another tall guy to go there, like Boateng. Hold on to the ball. Don't throw it right away. Don't throw it right away. Pass it upwards. Nice. Exploit the sides. Easier to waste time that way. Pass it backwards. Nice little switch. That was good. Go backwards. Pass it. Switch the play again. Even better. It's all about wasting time now, man. If, if it's foot champs, it's about wasting time, bro. If it's divisions, you don't have to take it too seriously. But with foot champs, it's all about the win. Switch the play. Beautiful. Very well done. That was a good game, man. So the situation, the situation with you was... More so about, it was more so about um, exploiting the sides more because the guy is using a four one two and two. When a guy is using a four one two and two, if you switch to a four two three one bracket two and you tell your left mids and right mids to get in behind, you can exploit those sides a little bit better, right? So it's all about analyzing how your opponent is defending against you. So on the attack, there was a lot of situations where. You were just too you were just too quick, a little bit too antsy on the attack. I think this is the, around this area is where you had a really good attacking opportunity. You just make too many extra passes that you shouldn't be making to use the space better, right? This situation right here, 
doing the fa the scoop turn inside isn't a very good idea because there's not really much going for you here. Holding the play there, doing a one-two pass with your Del Piero, and then seeing what position uh, Petit would be in would be much better. So that's all I would really say with your gameplay. It was good that you won that game, but you should have won significant by a significant score. I would say it should have been at least 3-0. Uh, with the opportunities that you had. S two different plays that you made were actually really good. The Rooney pass across goal was very good. And the uh, the opportunity where you actually scored was very, very good too. Doing the heel to heel, making him think that you're going to pass it backwards was really good. And then patiently waiting for your goal. And I'll show you guys right now which moment it is in specific sense uh right here so this is the thing right because i was even saying like it's good that if you wait for the guy in the middle right but what he did is he did the heel to heel to exploit the space he did the fake shot right he's facing this general direction this guy thinks he's gonna pass to this guy right here but he does the heel to heel he predicts that general movement he goes inside he doesn't pass it right away he waits for firmino to stop and then go backwards and and then do the driven pass to score the opportunity so that was a really good attacking play on your part my dude but that's pretty much going to do it for the video today guys i hope you guys did enjoy it again if you guys have any gameplay videos that you guys would like me to review uh most preferably around the gold 2 area uh that would be greatly appreciated so that you guys can see a big significant difference between a gold 2 and then trying to work your way up until an elite one player at the very least or at least an elite tier player elite three elite two elite one right because there's Elite 3 and Gold 1 is not far off of Elite 1 or even Top 100 because of the way that the game works, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you guys did, please drop a thumbs up on it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, so just before we end the video, I wanted to let you guys know that we do now have a second channel where we post... Uh, content on other games that I'm going to be playing. It's more like just a fun channel to have where I just want to play other games just for fun, but I like putting them onto YouTube just for my friends to see uh, the stuff that we do together. It's it's just for fun, but I just want to let you guys know for anyone interested in me playing other games. Again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys later.